Time for 96.7 Yes FM Entertainment News. I don't know what the draw is, but hot chicks, I guess, are into Pete Davidson. Now Kaylee Cuoco is into Pete. Okay, says. here's the thing. He's not like across the room, like a good looking guy, but he is funny. Uh-huh. He's already dated some beautiful girls. Right. And I'll, I'll tell you, personality, I think, is more important than looks because I've seen some cute people and then they talk and uh-huh. man, they lose that luster dust fast. Apparently, he gets more sparkly when he talks because word is uh, he and Katie Cuoco, they have more chemistry than people expected. They right. both broke up with their partners after filming their new rom-com together. Mm-hmm. They're saying that uh, they haven't been shy about dropping hints that they find each other attractive. They have fun together. Uh, he said, you know, people thought Pete would be more upset about him and Phoebe breaking up. But no, vibe is he's kind of going strong right. with, with Katie here. So people are saying that his high energy level and her high energy level match and they're having right. a good time together coming off the ex-relationships and starting this new thing. So, there you go. He's had a lot of hot women. Ariana Grande, yep. Kate Beckinsale. Uh, I don't know. Phoebe, and then, you he's know, also with Phoebe, too. Yep. When you when you go look at all the films Bruce Willis has done. Yes. There's there's several that are duds. Oh, that you've never 100%. heard of. They were super crappy. Yeah. And I think this is going to fall into the super crappy category. He's doing a movie with Mike Tyson. Who, if you saw the Hangover movie, he was in it. Not a good actor. No. Not. Uh, he, Mike is funny for the wrong reasons. He's not funny because it was scripted that way. He's just kind of a big goof. But yeah. yeah. New picture coming out in 2022. Film synopsis reads, when his daughter is murdered, William Duncan takes the law into his own hands, setting out on a quest for retribution. And then it goes into that he finds himself in the middle of a war with the thug's brother, mm. Rossi, the father, Bruce Willis, and their gang, of which uh, that's where the old Mike Tyson meets into that. By the end, he finds out that his quest for revenge never has a winner. Okay. Guess what? I strongly suspect straight to Netflix. Hey, yeah, I'm not going to go watch that one. I no. can care less. No.